Hi, I'm Sandra Brown coming to you from the balcony here at First Presbyterian Church and welcome to this week's midweek message where the word of the day is perseverance. And perseverance to me is when you keep going, even when you might not feel like it. Now I know many of you will find this really hard to believe, but I can get whiny sometimes and even complain. And I noticed this past week I'd been feeling a little whiny, along with probably many of my other pastor friends. I'm, I'm tired of preaching to a camera and not being able to see facial expressions and body language. And I'm tired of not being able to gather with the people and see you all. And I'm really tired, really exhausted of not being able to visit our elderly folks and sick folks and take their hand and pray with them. And I'm tired of the stress of it all. So I'm also thinking today of parents who are exhausted from so many weeks of trying to work at home and still taking care of small children. I'm thinking about all the hard-working people out there who are tired of not being able to work. I am thinking about all the peaceful protesters out there standing and marching in the hot sun, but who persevere and keep going until the message is heard. I'm thinking about all the members of law enforcement who are doing their best to continue to protect and to serve with patience and grace in some very tense situations, even as they themselves are horrified by the behavior of some of their fellow officers. And I'm thinking about all the people in this country who are exhausted from worrying about whether it is safe to go jogging in their own neighborhood or go to sleep in their own bed in their own home without someone coming after them because they are black. And probably even more exhausted from having to explain how that feels to someone like me. So chances are there is at least one situation in your life right now where you are being called on to live out perseverance, to keep going, even though you may not feel like it. And so to everyone out there who is feeling impatient, exhausted, burned out, defeated, I'd like to share these timeless words from Isaiah 40 with you. And I invite you to receive this and take this in as a personal message from God to you in whatever your situation may be. Have you not known? Have you not heard? The Lord is the everlasting God, the creator of the ends of the earth. He does not faint or grow weary. His understanding is unsearchable. He gives power to the faint and strengthens the powerless. Even youths will faint and be weary and the young will fall exhausted. But those who wait for the Lord shall renew their strength. They shall mount up with wings like eagles. They shall run and not be weary. They shall walk and not faint. And from Galatians 6, 9, So let us not grow weary in doing what is right, for we will reap at harvest time if we do not give up. Let us pray. O God, you know us better than we know ourselves. And you know down to the ounce the weight of every burden each one of us carries today. Help us to persevere. Help us to wait for you. Renew our strength. Help us run. Help us soar. Help us to see you in the beauty of this day and in the eyes of everyone we meet. Amen.
Now, speaking of perseverance, our ancestors in the faith certainly had to show plenty of that. And we invite you to join us as we look at the stories of Genesis this summer. We have a new sermon series called Where Did We Come From? And it's going to be interesting. You can access that in several ways. You can subscribe to our newsletter and weekly emails on our website fpctopeka.org and you'll automatically receive worship services and everything else in a weekly email. You can follow us on social media. We put that out on Facebook each and every Sunday and we've got an exciting new way for you to find us. We are on WIBW every Sunday now at 11 a.m. and the service will be from the Sunday before but that's okay. You can just catch up when you can. We'll see you then.